Hey, I'm CJ and welcome to my workshop. Today, we're gonna take a look at LocalScore. LocalScore is a brand new open source computer hardware benchmark for evaluating performance on large language models. I've been developing this over the last few months and excited to show it off today. And I think there's really no better place to start than just go ahead and downloading it and showing you how to run it for yourself. And we'll kind of go through some of the metrics and what's on the website. And yeah, this is something that anyone can use, benchmark your own computer or your friends or whatever you want. Cool. Welcome to the local score website. Immediately, we have the leaderboard here, but let's get on the leaderboard if we can. So let's go and download local score. So go to the download, we're running Mac OS. We'll run the smallest model. This is the 1 billion parameter model. And we'll copy, copy the instructions here, which is open the terminal and run. I already have my terminal open in my downloads folder. And I'll go ahead and download local score. And immediately when it finishes downloading, it will also begin executing. So we'll wait for this to download and then we'll go from there. Now that it's downloaded, it begins executing immediately and starts running the test. So it's gonna run through all these tests. Right now it's running a prompt of 4,096 in length and then generating 256 tokens. And I'll go ahead and run through a set of tests and then we'll have our local score. Cool, nice, we got a score of 400 directly. Um, so immediately here we get our score as well as some information about how fast we're generating these tokens on average, how fast we're processing the prompt on average, as well as the average time to first token here. So it's just over a second for all of these tests, which is like kind of reasonable, maybe a little slow, but overall a score of 400 is like, this model is gonna run pretty good. 70 tokens per second is super respectable for pro or token generation and for prompt processing, a thousand is, is pretty solid. So we're gonna get pretty good performance out of this model. So it'll go ahead and ask us if we wanna submit our results and we sure do wanna submit our results. So we'll, we'll say yes to that and it'll give us a link. So I'm gonna go and copy this link back here and immediately we have our results page. So a bunch of other GPUs have been tested and we can see our, our results here. And if we wanna go explore more results for this model, we can go click this button here or this link. And we also have a chart of some other GPUs uh, that we can compare to. So for token generation, we can see compared to an H100, we're getting totally crushed. Um, but compared to like an Epic CPU, we're destroying an Epic CPU five times faster. So there's a bunch of different results here and we also have our local score results so you can compare directly local scores and you know an h100 or a 4090 is totally crushing this so this is some 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 of the data and we also have a little bit more detailed results so the same things that we saw in our terminal in terms of uh, our tests are also laid out here as well as more information about our system and th in this case the llama file runtime which is actually generating the test scores but we can also go ahead and look at things like this model, for example. We can see we have 57 accelerators, which have been tested in total. And we see some of the, the better performing ones immediately. But let's, uh, let's compare like some max. Um, so let's, let's do the M4 max, we'll do the M1, M1 Pro. And well, I don't know, let's do like a 3060, throw a 3060 in there just to see how we stack up against the 3060. So it's interesting, like the M4 Max almost competes with the 3060 there. But yeah, you can go ahead and browse this and look at different local scores, prompt tokens per second, all of this information, as well as a full leaderboard for all the GPUs that have been tested. Similarly, you can go and visit a GPU, for example, maybe we do wanna check out a 3060. So looking at 3060, we kind of get an overview here of some of the models that's been tested for, and you can get an idea of the local scores for each size as well as generation speed, prompt speed, all of this kind of thing. So you can look at Quen 2.5, for example, and see like for a 3060 with 12 gig, yeah, it's like pretty reasonable. Maybe it's a little on the slower side, but pretty reasonable to run. So 
giving you just an idea off the bat and you can go through and whatever models have been run for this particular GPU or CPU, whatever it is, you can go and sort them and add them here and see them compared directly. <coughs> and let's just touch back on the home page. And this is a leaderboard for similar information, just seeing what GPUs run, what models, especially our models here, the fastest. Um, but you can run whatever model you would like. When we go back to this download page, you can run any .ggUF model that you want. Um, you can use the local score binary here and do a dash M and the path to the whatever model that is. And you can see, for example, we have stuff like Gemma 2. Gemma 2 is not uh, a, one of the models that we suggest to run, but sure enough, you can go there and see someone's tested an M4 Max on this. So this is the local score website in a nutshell. I think one of the coolest things about this project is that it's really meant to be a community project. We built this in a way that Hopefully anyone can submit results very easily. It doesn't even require an account sign up. And the project is fully open source. Both the website and the client, uh, or the benchmarking client, are fully open source. So if you wanna make changes, you can. If you wanna make improvements, you can. And specifically for the website, I think there's so much potential for exploring this data and finding out what is important to the community and making it a resource that anyone can tap into. And we may even want to explore things like opening up an API endpoint so people can build their own websites or data visualizations based on the information that we collect here. So I'm pretty excited about that. I would love any kinds of contributions, discussions, whatever on GitHub would be totally wonderful and very much appreciated. And also because it's open source, the benchmarking client that's built on Llama file here does not have to be the only benchmarking client. For example, we could upstream these changes into llama.cpp if, if they want those changes. And maybe that benefits people like Olama or LM Studio so they can have a similar local score metric in, in their clients as well. And it's just a resource for everyone. That's all it is. It's a resource to make all of the tokens per second, everything more accessible to more people and hopefully more understandable, and hopefully we can do even better jobs of communicating that with the website and what, what's important to people ultimately. I've tried to design the test suite in a way where it represents fairly real world use cases for people and tries to give some basis of comparison at the very least for different accelerators. So that's local score and I wanna say a huge thank you to Mozilla who sponsored this work for with the Mozilla Builders program. So yeah, please take a look, give it a download, try it out, submit your scores if you want. And yeah, just thank you so much for being involved.